went straight past a crazy bit of a snake. Look at that. In local language, this snake is called the axe snake. It means you get bitten, you just chop a limb off. It's really, really dangerous to handle a snake like this. Whoa! I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum. See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Oh, Up close and personal. And a massive oh. snake! OK, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. Dotted all around Southeast Asia are plantations palm oil mainly, and rubber. And locals come face to face with the animals venturing from the nearby forest. Monkeys, and lots of snakes as well, including a highly venomous snake species well adapted to living here. I'm gonna be looking for a Malayan pit viper. This guy blends in perfectly into the leaf litter, sitting in ambush, just like the other pit vipers, but on the ground. They're almost like landmines. They're really venomous as well, because if you get bitten by a pit viper like that, you might have to amputate a limb. It's the only way of saving your life. To be more specific, the Malayan pit viper's venom is strongly necrotoxic, meaning it destroys all the cells it gets into contact with. The venom attacks so quickly and strongly, bites end up looking like this. If I find one, I have to be seriously, seriously careful. Malayan pit vipers are perfectly camouflaged in the leaf litter. So I'm actually looking on the floor this time. Wow, look at this. This is actually a slug eating snake. That's not the species I'm after. Actually, they're nocturnal. He's actually probably sleeping there. And thinking that he's very well camouflaged. Totally still. That's amazing. Whoa! Do you see that? He now sees I'm here. Obviously, I just woke him up. I must admit, for a snake, it's very small, but still quite intimidating. The way, the way... Do it. Unbelievable. I, they're normally so calm and relaxed. What a beautiful looking snake though. Bronze-like eyes. Gorgeous, kind of bulbous-like. Well, he's, he's, he's just having a go at me. Obviously very confused during the day. They come out during the night. He's been asleep. Whoop. <laughs> scares me. Like a snake like this, you think this is going to be calm. He just wants to just lash out at me every single moment. Nobody likes being woken up the first thing in the morning, so he's obviously pretty grumpy. Very grumpy little slug snake. I'm gonna put him back to sleep. Off you go, mate. You can stop being grumpy. Stop being grumpy. There you go. Off he goes. Yes, slug eating snake. I didn't actually find a Malayan pit viper that day at the plantations. But keep watching to see what happened only a few days later on a recce. Always expect the unexpected. This here is a dry creek bed. It's a perfect place for me to go up and down here, looking in the leaf litter, but also any prey that might be using this as a potential path through the rainforest. Let's get going. Why, Sarah? You literally just walked straight past a crazy bit of a snake. Holy mackerel. Look at that. Just come back here. Your feet literally just went straight past this highly venomous snake, ambush predator, the Malayan pit viper. Look how well camouflaged it is. Look at that head just popping out. Just there waiting in ambush. It's exactly what I was talking about. So just literally just talking through here, there's lots of areas where animals were used as paths. So this dry creek bed is perfect for all sorts of animals to move around the rainforest. But also, it's a little trap. Look at that. 
An ambush predator, highly venomous snake, sitting there waiting for the prey to come along. So if I got bitten, and if it was your leg, honestly, you would have been in serious trouble. You'd maybe even had lost your, your leg. Like, it would have been seriously bad. Whoa, that is really lucky. God, imagine if you'd literally, your, your leg went that side. Sarah, how does it feel to be nearly bitten by a pit viper? Or stood on a pit viper? <laughs> in local language, this is called the axe snake. It means that because of venom, it causes necrosis, it causes amputation. The axe snake, you get bitten, you just chop a limb off. It's quite mind boggling. But it's really, really quite dangerous. You can see how it's so, so easy to step on this snake. That coloration is just like these dead brown leaves. Really is an expert at camouflage. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this guy out. Gotta be really careful because like all these pit vipers, they get into that S position which allows them to strike out super quick, very quick strike. But now you can see this snake up close. It really is what you'd call a landmine, unlike the other pit vipers that I've come across here. So if you think about the wagglers, they live in the trees with that green coloration. And these ones got completely different coloration because they live on the ground. And on the ground, what have you got? All this leaf litter, you wanna blend in. Now I'm just gonna put this snake back down onto the leaf litter here and you can see really that coloration in perfect form. That kind of dappled light effect. It's amazing how evolution can work like that. They actually got a reputation of being incredibly bad tempered as well. And I want to test that theory out. Ooh, a little bit sketchy. There you are, Malayan pit viper. Has to be very, very calm with a snake like this. If it bit me quite quickly, I would get tissue damage, local necrosis. My fingers would turn black and there'd be no going back at that point. They would be gone. Woo, scary. The way I've positioned the hook is that if it does strike, it's actually quite difficult to actually get my finger at this point. I'm also handling the snake from the bottom of its tail. But still, don't be fooled. The snake could easily turn around, sensing the environment, and knows that I've probably got its tail right now. But because I'm handling it really calmly, it's not feeling too threatened. Gorgeous. We love pit vipers. We've seen pit vipers up in the trees, on the ground, in the leaf litter. This one is a landmine, and they also call it the axe snake. If you get bitten by it, you have to chop their leg off. <laughs> Crazy. The Malayan pit viper. Yes. I better back up this way. Now that's a snake that definitely deserves a wide berth. If you can see him, that is. It's easy to miss a Malayan pit viper, even if it is there. Just remember, when you're walking through the rainforest or any true wild place, keep an eye out on the ground. And most importantly, wear boots. That is crucial. I can safely say that the majority of snakes will zoom out of your way, but this one proves they don't all sliver away. Besides, you may come across other characters sitting in the leaf litter that aren't quite as deadly. 